Hello friends. Welcome to Hartsfield Atlanta Jackson Airport where I am about to fly to Buenos Aires. This is a trip I've been looking forward to for a very long time. Uh, since the beginning of pandemic when I got locked inside, I started to get really into tattoos. And today I'm flying to Buenos Aires to get my first tattoo. If you want to see the design, if you want to see the final product, watch to the end of the video. I don't think you're going to regret it. <laughs> I actually just got done recording a podcast where I talk about the backstory and a little more in depth about why I'm going to Buenos Aires. So if you want to check that out, I'll post the link in the description. But for now, let's get going. Thanks for coming along. So I'm going to Buenos Aires to get the tattoo, but that's not all I'm doing. This is actually the beginning of a very long, indefinite globe trot. I'm gonna be going to a lot of countries, mostly in Europe, might make it to Asia, but I'm leaving the US indefinitely, guys. I bought a motorcycle in Ireland and it's waiting on me there. So I'm gonna go to uh, Argentina, get the tattoo, go to Ireland, live there for a bit, check out my ancestry. I don't know, just fuck around, volunteer a few places. And um, hopefully my money lasts me, I don't know, a year, two years, I'm not really sure. But this is a big moment for me. My life is about to change dramatically. And I'm glad you guys are here with me to enjoy the process. Thanks for coming along. So the flight is quite long. It's about 10 hours, but it's a direct flight. We got lucky with this one. Delta hooked it up. Let's see if they will uh, continue to hook it up. I'm about to ask for a first class ticket for free. Let's see what, uh, what they say. Hello. I'm just double checking that everything's okay with. Uh... Yes. Oh, all good. Okay, okay. If you have your boarding pass, assignment, and your password, you're Okay, easy. I was wondering, um, I am a Delta Sky Miles member. I was wondering if there's any way I could upgrade to. No. Well, that didn't go to plan. All good, though. Still a Delta flight. I stand by Delta. I think they're the best airline. Even though they, they don't give me free first class tickets. All right. Let's wait here and head out soon. Hello, friends. It's Connor from earlier. Remember? In the, in the video? Yeah, it's me from earlier. From much, much, much earlier. I was sitting on a plane for a while. Didn't go anywhere, just sat there. And then we were gonna move planes and then decided to just cancel the flight altogether. So right now, I am running to a hotel shuttle. They give us a free shuttle for, uh, free hotel for the night. And um, we're, gonna, we're gonna put a pause on this trip for now. I'm not in Buenos Aires, I'm still in, still in America. See that English right there? Yep, still here. But don't go anywhere. We're gonna continue the journey tomorrow. And they gave us a free meal voucher. So I might get some goodies. I'm not sure how good the meal is. I'm not sure how good the hotel is. But uh, hey, the adventure continues. Let's see what our free room voucher gets us. Decent bathroom. Oh, that's a large shower. It's like a walk-in closet. That's weird. All right, very nice and clean. Okay, door to the toilet. A little weird. We got a Keurig. Big mini fridge. Very nice. Ice receptacle, okay. Yeah. Nice. What's that, a queen? Queen size bed? Where's the light? What's that, a queen size bed? King? Is that a king? Oh my god. 
Guys, we have a king size bed. Man, my flight needs to, whoa. Man, my flight needs to get canceled more often. And the bright side is, instead of having a red eye, an overnight flight, sleeping vertical, sleeping sitting down on a plane, I get to sleep in a nice bed, and then tomorrow, we have a normal flight. It's like at 11, it lands at 10 p.m. Easy, easy. The luxury. <sighs> the luxury. I would never buy this room on my own. I would never buy a king size bed room in the US with my budget, never. Look at the lovely view. Guys, we are crushing it. Mmm. God damn. Delicious. Tasty bun. Nice soft, buttery bun. Nice smoky burger. So yesterday we didn't have much luck with the free upgrade, but I just had all the luck in the world. Asked for a free upgrade, the guy gave me a comfort class seat, so it's extra leg room. Uh, I think it's an aisle seat too, so yeah, that's usually like a $150 upgrade, maybe 200 bucks, but hey man, you just gotta ask. <laughs> so yesterday we got shut down pretty hard with the free upgrade, and miraculously we just got it today. I don't know how. I really don't know the art of the free upgrade. I'm just asking for it and getting it sometimes, not getting it other times. But if you know how to get a free upgrade, tricks of the trade, things to say, let me know, <laughs> drop a comment. I would really like to know, because that was great. Love saving money, love legroom. It's finally hitting me. I'm actually going to Buenos Aires. I'm living my dream, living my goal of going here since March of 2020. It's finally happening. I think because I barely do any research before I go, like literally all I know about Argentina is the tattoo artist I'm going to, they have lots of cows, they have delicious beef, good wine, beautiful women, lots of dancing. That's all I know. It doesn't really feel real until moments like these where I'm sitting on the plane. It's finally hitting me. And it feels great. Guys, it's finally happened. I made it to Argentina. I've been building up this moment for over two years, and we're finally here. Hey, todo bien, gracias. Wow, it's just like the Latin America I know and love. Taxi driver is bothering me left and right. We're in Buenos Aires. Yeah, I've been building up this moment for a while and uh, I'm not gonna lie, when the, the captain announced we we're gonna be there in 10 minutes, I got pretty nervous. Like the feeling before you ask a really pretty girl out, a really pretty girl that you've been kind of idolizing for a while. You've had your eye on, you've made plans to ask her out, but for whatever reason it hasn't worked out. And then it finally works out, I'm here inside of Argentina. <sighs> yep, 
Beautiful. It's a new world to me. It's still Latin America. Is it European? Is it Latin American? I don't know. What's really throwing me off is all the white people that speak Spanish here. All the white Argentinians. I'm not gonna be able to get by just profiling people. Oh, that guy looks Latin, he speaks Spanish. Oh, that guy's white, he speaks English. Not gonna work here. Not gonna work. Will I make it? <laughs> Will I learn the exchange rate? Does my phone work in another country? I have lots of questions. I have no answers. But to me, that's the fun part of traveling. That's the fun of it. I don't know what's gonna happen. I think it's gonna be fine. But I have more questions than answers. I feel like a little boy in a candy shop right now. I feel like a little boy in a candy shop. The world is my oyster. I did neglect to find out if my phone works overseas. I fully neglected to do that. It may not work. I don't know. It did not work in Colombia, so I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. All right, guys. It's time to go to our hotel. Wow. Surreal moment. Thanks for sharing it with me. Pretty touristy area. Pretty touristy. It's como Times Square in Nueva York. Sí. Oh no. Parecido. Sí. Acá tienes teatros. Teatros. Sí. Ah, qué bueno. Nice. Acá tienes uno. Acá tienes otro. Opera. Wow. Para el fondo está la Casa Rosada, donde está el presidente. Oh, ¿en serio? La Casa Ardosada. Y más al fondo este sería Puerto Madero, que sería lo más top de, de acá. Es la área más rica. Claro. Oh. Vaya, ahora vamos a pasar. Ah, ok. Listo, un tour. Claro, <laughs> un mini tour. Hey, gracias. <laughs> Man, homeboy is giving me a little tour. What a nice guy. La Casa Ardosada. Y ahí vamos a pasar más de cerca. Wow, es muy limpio. Por acá. That was a nice little tour, but that taxi was definitely overpriced. I paid $40 for a 30 minute tour. for a 30-minute taxi ride. I tried to negotiate down, but they wouldn't budge. All right, let's see if we can get into my hostel. It's not working right now. I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. Hey. Hey. Gracias. <laughs> you don't speak Spanish? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool. No worries. Thank you for letting me in. You want to, uh, me to take something? Or... No, no, it's okay. totally fine. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Thanks so much. I thought I was locked out. <laughs> yeah. Along the street, <laughs> the yeah, cross right? street. Oh, it's kind of there. Nice. Yeah. It's very old building. Yeah. Wow. Nice. What's your name? Uh, Isel. Isel? Isel. French name? Oh, I'm Connor. Connor? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Connor or no? Connor? Connor. Connor, yeah. 
Oops, that's why. You're supposed to do like that. <laughs> no, don't do that because uh, if it touched the wall, you know, the, the other, it, oh, shit. it's a bit uh, scary. Oh, wow, okay, good to know. <laughs> Come on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very nice. Okay, so it's the main floor here. Uh, we just check the number of your room. Yes. Buen dia, amigos. Welcome to another day in Buenos Aires. My first official day here. It's tattoo day. We're gonna walk to get our tattoo. It's about four miles. I could take a bus. There is an extensive uh, public transit system. It could take me there very easily and for cheap. But I'd rather, I'd rather walk around and get to know the city myself on this gorgeous day. Beautiful Buenos Aires. Is it European? Is it Latin? Yes. I am, uh, I'm feeling a bit nervous about this tattoo, I'm not gonna lie. I had a little espresso earlier and it probably didn't help my nerves. I'm feeling a little jittery, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to sit in a chair for a few hours and uh, endure lots of pain. But we'll see, you know, we're, we're gonna figure it out together, guys. It was a first time for everything. I wanna be really honest with you guys. I am feeling lots of doubt and fear at the moment about this tattoo. It's something I've wanted for years, I've already told you that, but I just feel lots of doubt. I'm not sure what it is. I'm not gonna let the doubt control my life though. I'm gonna let the love, I'm gonna let the passion control what I do. And for the last two years, I've wanted this tattoo. It's only until the next, the last two days that I've been scared. I've told myself something. You know, like before you get tattoos, people always say, oh, you're gonna regret it, blah, blah, blah. I've told myself something. With this tattoo, I'm gonna express myself and forgive myself. And really in all walks of life, you should do that. Express yourself, forgive yourself. Express yourself, get the tattoo, forgive yourself. If you change your mind, if you don't like it years down the road, it's fine. You were doing what you wanted to do. You were doing what you loved. So I ain't gonna worry about it. Or I am worried about it, but I'm not gonna act on the fear. We're gonna get this tattoo. Here we go. Would you look at all this beautiful architecture around us? I don't know why it looks this way. This is when a normal person would usually go on a tour and actually educate themselves and find out why things are the way they are. But me, no, I just ask questions. I think asking questions is fun. Will I ever learn? Who knows? Probably not, but it sure looks nice. These old buildings. Yeah, this shit, this really feels like a European city. Yeah, haven't even been in Buenos Aires 24 hours and I'm really digging it. This is literally the first thing I've done in this city. I woke up and I tried to figure out the money situation. If you ever come to Buenos Aires, if you ever come to Argentina, changing your money is not easy. First off, if you're a US citizen, I would just bring dollars and exchange them because there's actually a black market for US currency. So go to your local tienda, your little flower shop and uh, support the black market. Give them some dollars, they'll give you some pesos. Cause if you don't do that, you have to fuck around with Western Union, pay all kinds of fees. Anyways, <laughs> can you tell I'm pressed about this? But here we are, I'm a free boy off in the world getting a tattoo. Oh, also today I went to uh, a cafe and got a sloppy, disgusting, meaty, cheesy sandwich. It was delicious, delectable. If you wanna check that out, go to my Instagram. Guys, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook. I, I'm about to release a podcast. Follow me on Spotify, support your boy. We're gonna play a little game on the way to the tattoo parlor. European or Latin? Let's start here. Nice, clean streets. Oh, so silky smooth. I'd say 
one point for European. Obnoxious tourist walking in the street, I'd say that's one point for European. Or, or, or seasoned local, not afraid of traffic, point one for Latin. All right, it's neck and neck. But I think this park's about to break the, well, it's not a tie, but yeah. Did you guys see that? I tried to be undercover with my filming. Also tried to say hey to him, he did not respond. But he was smoking a hand rolled cigarette. You know what that means? Point one for Europeans. What's that, three to one Europeans? Transit lane, transit lane, that's a point for European. But a man irresponsibly holding his daughter on a scooter with no helmet, point one for Latin. So that's four to two, four to two. I think Europeans running away with it. Do I even have to say what this one's a point for? Do I even have to say it? What's that? Five to two? Five to two. Wait, wait, wait. I forgot to count one point. Forgot to count one. Look at all the graffiti on the beautiful architecture. See that? No estamos todas. Like, this doesn't represent everyone. El futuro es minis something something. Yeah, I don't know what these a lot of these words mean, but I'm pretty sure a protest happened here on some Portland shit. And Portland, they say, is like a European town. So that's six to two for Europe. Six to two. Not even close. Hey. Ustedes están subiendo la conciencia de la gente. Oh, wow. oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What would we count that one as, guys? Locals raising awareness for a river controlled by Foreigners? That sounds like some Latin shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds like some disenfranchised Latin people. One point for the Latins. What's that, six to three? Six to three. Also, am I fooling you with my comprehension of Spanish? Am I fooling you? Because I really didn't know what that guy was talking about. I feel like I'm just guessing. I'm regurgitating what I think happened. <laughs> All right, we're coming up on our next point for Latin America. This one, I have to admit, is staged. I just want an empanada. So I'm gonna get an empanada. All right, peeps. I got two empanadas, one carne and one pollo, uh, for about a dollar in a very touristy area. So probably overpriced, but still affordable. Let's try it. Got the spicy carne. These, it's decent. I will not say it's great. The dough feels like cheap, like fake white dough. Not the best, but still Latin. Six to three. Europe, Europe is in the lead. Also, I should probably caveat all this by saying I feel like my natural inclination is going to be towards European things because I come from a European country, or you know, it was at one point European. Well, I guess this was too. I guess it's all the same. And I'm sure you social justice warriors out there will let me know that vehemently in the comments, that it's all the same. 
and this is stolen land. Well, I don't really care. I'm just trying to have some fun today. Anyways, six to three. Will Latin America win? Oh wait, is it six to four? Is this four? I think this is four. Advanced public transit system. One point for European. Homeless people. Mm, draw. People working hard. One point for the Latins. Wow, those hardworking guys did not appreciate the camera. They were giving me some looks. One point for Europeans being snooty about cameras. Cheap fruit. One point for Latin. Vegan cake shop. Unfortunately, that's a point for the Europeans. I'm really sorry. <sighs> On behalf of European culture, I apologize for the vegans. Looks like the vegans have infiltrated Buenos Aires. It won't be long till the whole city is overrun by insufferable people. Effective ways of disposing of trash. One point for European. I know that's definitely not American. And for damn sure that's not Latin. Efficient mode of transportation. European. I don't think you would ever see this in a Latin American country. People driving in traffic and not using their horns. One point for European. <laughs> yeah, bro, I remember in Colombia, dude. Even if there was like light traffic, once the traffic light turned green, doesn't matter the situation, doesn't matter the time, doesn't matter how many cars, everyone honked their horn. And here it feels like people are a little more tranquilo, they're a little more laid back about it. Cobblestone streets in Latin America? This shit, this is European, bro. This is some old English Boston shit. You guys, what is this building? It's enormous. Looks like it says Mercado de Abasto Provedor. So it's a mercado, I guess it's a, uh, I'm assuming it's a mall. What do we think guys? Big mall inside an old fancy building. Do we think that's European? Do we think that's Latin? My vote is for Latin, I mean uh, European. My vote's definitely for European. But I'd love to know what you think. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of this whole comparison. I feel like I was walking a tightrope, not trying to be uh, offensive, but also just trying to have some fun. Anyways, guys, that concludes if Buenos Aires is more European or Latin. I think it's more European, and I can't remember the score. I'll put it down below. That's the score. But I'm almost certain that European won. Now, it's time to wrap up the video. Finalmente, finally, I'm gonna get this tattoo. I'm approaching the neighborhood. Within a few minutes, I will have art on my body forever. Here we go. The moment of truth. I'm pulling out to the tattoo shop. This moment is over two years in the making. And I am excited, nervous. I'm not sure how to describe it, but my heart is beating. My legs are a little jello-y. I think I'm a little scared. Oh, here it is. Vieja Escuela Tattoo. Old school tattoo. Here we go, guys. Hola, buenas. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, ¿y tú? ¿Todo bien? Sí. Tengo una cita con Arián. Con Arián. Sí. Ahí lo he dicho. Listo. Estamos unidos, ahí lo he dicho. Ok, todo bien. Dale, ahí gracias. Parece que le pongan más tatus. Este lo saco entonces. ¿O no? Mm. A ver, ¿cómo fue lo del Resi de Bad Bunny? 
Oh, el, el, el show de Bad Bunny. Con eso. Oh my God. Yo lo voy a ir a ver, pero voy a pagar la entrada. Ah. <risa> ¿Y por cuántos años tú has estado haciendo tatuajes? Diez. Ah, qué bueno. Nice. Fue difícil en el um, principi principio. Sí, aprendí sola en realidad. O sea, algunos amigos me ayudaron tipo a armar la máquina y preparar esas cosas, pero después empecé a tatuarme con diferentes tatuadores y ahí bueno empecé a ver lo que hacían, a preguntarles un montón y así fui aprendiendo. Pero no, nadie me enseñó, digamos, no tengo un maestro o algo así. Yo no tengo sueños, tengo planes. Sería demasiado perfecto. Mis amigos están muertos sin querer los maté. No sabía que era tu novia sin querer la empapé. Disparate. No me falta el papel. Bicho antiguo está muerto sin querer los maté. No sabía que era tu novia sin querer la empapé. Puta va, tengo plata, son maravillosos mis chistes. It's like a bitch <laughs> underneath the armpit on the elbow, but it's worth it. Not a nip in. Bruh, she just went to the bathroom, got a little break. Check it out. Oh, so clean. My tattoos got tattoos. <laughs> So fucking sick. So sick. Here it is, guys. The final product. A tattoo, two years in the making, <laughs> is finally here. Las detalles, the details. Gracias, Ariana. And Buen trabajo. <laughs> Very nice. A dream come true. Bueno, bien, amigo. Gracias. Me alegro mucho. En serio. Mucho. Bien ahí. Gracias por venir. Estás lejos. Ah, sí, en serio. <laughs> All right, guys. That concludes the saga of the tattoo. Two years in the making. Muchas gracias a Ariana. Muchísimas gracias. <laughs> For your talents and your soft Almost hands. You very it. soft. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first tattoo in the books. Sweet. I couldn't be happier. So I'm muy happy. <laughs> and now we're gonna go to um, a pasta place. Someone is hosting us and we're gonna eat pasta. It's a gourmet pasta event. I don't know what's going on. But the vlog will continue. This is gonna be a long one. Here we go. All right, guys, I'm gonna sign off here. I can't thank you enough for watching to the end of the video, for joining me for this experience. My first tattoo in a new country, meeting people. It was great. Go and eat pasta. Thanks, guys. See you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my
You guys, check out the vibe. We just made it to this shop. So they're doing like a pop-up. And uh, the owner of the tattoo shop I just got my tattoo at is the owner of this pasta pop-up. And right now, he's pouring us drinks. <laughs> it's vermouth with agua con gas. An Italian cocktail. Italian influence. So the owner just came up to me and put another vermouth cocktail in my hand. So I figured I'd let you guys know how it is. Let's try it out. It almost tastes like wine. So, so far tonight we've had tomato sauce, pesto, vermouth, and then he just brought us limoncello, an Italian palate cleanser, liquor. Well, guys, that's it for today. The tattoo saga has been completed. This was one hell of a journey, man. I know you guys just joined me in the last few days for this, but for me, this has been in the works for over two years. So, very special one for me. Hey, but that's all I got for today, guys. I really appreciate you coming along. Stay tuned for the next one. I'll see you guys soon.